let's look at how you can set up a php development environment on your machine okay so for php development environment there are a few things that you'll need and the first one is the local server the database package managers and the code editor we have packages that come with the they, are, they have the server and then the database also and php and those packages are like zamp and also you have wamp so wamp is for windows mamp is for mac lamp is for linux okay but then actually zamp is cross-platform right it's cross-platform so we have this zamp here this is what i'm talking about this is cross-platform you can just click on the apache friends.org and then you get Example: This is cross-platform you have for Windows, for Linux, and for operating system X, right? Which is which is Mac. But you also have WAM, which is specifically for Windows, a WAM server, and you also have um, MAM. Uh, that I think that is for Mac, right? MAM that is for Mac. So these packages they come with uh, the server Apache and then we have the database and then we have a PHP. So what you are going to use in this in this demonstration is Zamp. Okay, so you can download Zamp for Windows, you can download Zamp for Linux or for operating system system X. Okay. So the first thing you have to do according to this guide, we are going to install the local server and it, I said it comes with the database. So you just go to the you just go to the browser and then you search Zam. And this first link is what you want to click to click on and it will take you to this page where right now you can download Zam for Windows, for Linux or for Mac. So in my case I'm going to download for Windows because I'm on Windows machine. So after you click on that download link, it will start downloading ZAMP. So this will take time depending on uh, depending on the speed of internet. Now it has already downloaded and it has taken around 30 seconds. So I just want to click on this and you can either open it or you can show it in folder. And then from here you can run it. So you can just uh, double click here. And follow the normal uh, win Windows uh, application installation process. Now, normally you are going to get this error, but don't worry, this warning actually it is not an error, it is a warning. Just click on OK and it will continue. Uh, the the default directory that is going to install ZAMP is C, and then we have this folder called ZAMP, right? So just click on next, in language, and then next. And it's going to open the default browser, but you can just close it and click on next, and it will start installing. Right, so as in, as it installs, let's look at the other requirements. We said we need the local server and the database, and we said that ZAMP comes with these two things, right? So the next thing that we need is package managers, right? And what are they? So package managers are like tools that help you to install other third-party packages into your project, okay? So, for example, you want the functionality of uh, en 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 encrypting your password. So, you don't have to write that functionality from from scratch, but you can install uh, the package that will help you do that. So, that is the use of package managers. Now, for PHP, we have we'll need two types of package managers: the front end and the the back end. So, the PHP is a back end development language. So. For PHP, we will need Composer, and Composer will install it after installing ZAMP because it will require the PHP uh, development path, okay, which is provided, which will be inside the ZAMP, and then 
uh, for for the front end packages like the javascript packages we are going to need will require npm which is called node package manager now for node package manager we'll need to install node.js right so just go open another tab and write node.js and hit enter and it's going to take us to this first website is node.js.org you want to click on that and it's going to open this interface on this interface you have two versions long-term support and the current version so it's good you, you download the long-term support version this one here lts okay so you just click on uh, on this package here and then it will open let's just uh, download it all right so node.js comes with the node.js and npm so if you want to write and uh, you want to write uh, you want node.js it will come with the node.js and also you have the npm package so we are downloading because of npm package to help us install the to help us install the front end packages instead of npm you can also use what we call yarn right you can use yarn um so if you go to yarn you get uh, how to install yarn if you want that you can install it but i'll install the node.js that comes with npm right so another thing that we need is i said code editor so we have very many open source code editor that you can uh, download for free or if you like you can buy uh, other other ides like uh, php storm it is the most advanced uh, ide for php right so if you just search uh, for for open source or you can just do free code editors so you can see we have visual, visual studio code we have atom sublime text not not pad plus plus bluefish okay so we have many of them we have vim so you you will download the one that you like uh, but then many developers are using visual studio code and that is what i'm going to download in this session so just search uh, visual studio code download and you can see this first link you click on that and it is uh just allow this is this this pop-up is for this is for this installation okay that pop-up is for this installation so let's go back to here so we are on on this page here where we want to download uh, so i was saying that the zamba is already installed uh, but we have a problem with the latest version of zamba i don't know if it is a problem but then it after installing to restart your computer without prom prompting you or telling you anything but then it has already installed uh, it you can just um, if you want to start it now you can do that but let's just click on finish okay so you are on installing visual code studio visual studio code i mean so on this page you want to download the version uh, you want to download the version for the operating system you are using so this is for windows for linux you have dot deb or dot rpm and then you have also for mac so i'll download for windows here So this one is going to download and you can just download that and follow the normal application installation uh, process right and another thing if you like um, but this is optional is what we call git right? so git if you just search git you'll get this first link and it let it let let you to this page here so on this page you can download this git uh, if you want for windows and what it does is just, it just give it just give you gives you uh, the function the it just gives you the linux commands you can use linux commands on your windows machine 
okay so if you would like it you just click on download uh, we have for windows and i think for mac and for linux all right so let's just close all these uh, tabs and we'll start installing node.js all right so just go to let me just retrieve it from where i downloaded it so i saved it here we have node.js here and i just double click on it and run the setup next accept next next and install all right so we've installed node.js and we've also installed uh, our local server which is zamp now if we just search up we search click on this search button and search zam you find that you have um, the control panel opens and from here we can start a purchase server and you can start mysql right so you can just click on start and start there so you allow that when they when the server starts running you can click on the admin here and it is going to open this on your default browser and you can go to php my admin and now we have the local server here you can now manage your databases here you can create a new database and you can delete the databases here so we have the local server running okay so um so what about um, what about uh, what about npm we talked about package managers and we downloaded node.js and we installed so let's just look at the npm so i'll just right click on my desktop and um, we have this git i have git already installed git bash so i have these options git bash here where i can open the terminal here so i can just click on that and if i do node dash v it should give me the, the version of node.js installed and you can see we have node version 14.17.1 .1. and also if i do npm dash v it's going to give me the npm version installed uh, in my machine and you can see it is npm version 6.14.13 so we have npm we have uh, our server the remaining thing is um the php package manager which is composer okay and then installing the code editor and git bash so let's just go to the web browser and search for composer and you have this first link you click on that and you find composer here so you want to download you click on the download button and you download this for windows if you are on windows you use this one here and you save it and after that you just run this file just open I, i'll use this recommended option which is uh, i install for all users allow and don't do develop mode because if you choose develop the uh, developer mode you'll not be able to uninstall it so just click on next and you see this path that it chooses this path so it, this way it looks for php so php is inside the zam php and then php.exe that is important so just click on you click on this you check that and then you click on next next and install and there you go composer has been installed right so you have php package manager you have javascript or front-end package manager which is npm so the only thing remaining is the 
code editor we have already installed downloaded here which is visual code studio and you have the git bash here so let's just install the code editor accept agreement and click next mm, and check this this is very important to check this add open with open with it's important to check those and click on next and install it so you can just click on finish and it is going to launch visual code studio visual studio code i mean and this is how it looks like okay so this is the default theme and you can change the theme if you want so this is the code editor you have already set the code editor set up the code editor you have already set up the code editor now uh, the last thing we need is to install git bash here so if you just click on git bash and you can open it though i have it installed so you can just follow the the normal installation process next 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 just click on next but there are a few things uh, i just like changing but you can i like using windows default this one i like using this one here okay and then install so you can see mine is, uh, is, is, is saying that uh, okay i have it installed so just follow the, that process and it's going to install it okay so that's basically how you set up the php development environment on your machine